The Big and Small, Introducing Great Danes to Tiny Breeds Introduction, dogs come in all shapes and sizes, from small terriers to large mastiffs. One breed that stands out for its sheer size is the Great Dane. Known as the Gentle Giants, these magnificent dogs can reach heights of up to 32 inches and weigh as much as 200 pounds. Their overwhelming presence and imposing stature often leave people in awe. On the other end of the spectrum, we have tiny breeds like Chihuahuas and Pomeranians, who barely reach a foot in height. In this article, we will explore the challenges and possibilities that emerge when introducing Great Danes to these pint-sized breeds. We will delve into their compatibility, training requirements, and tips for successful cohabitation. Compatibility, at first glance, it might seem like an odd pairing to bring together a Great Dane and a tiny breed. Due to their significant size difference, concerns about injury and aggression might arise. However, these two seemingly polar opposites can indeed live in harmony, given the right conditions. Firstly, it is essential to properly socialize both the Great Dane and the smaller breed from an early age. Early socialization will help them understand each other's boundaries and build a bond based on trust. Gradual and supervised introductions are key to ensuring a positive start. Secondly, the temperament of the individual dogs plays a crucial role. While Great Danes are generally known for their calm and gentle nature, small breeds can display a wide range of temperaments. It is important to find a small breed that is sociable, confident, and not prone to aggression, as this will positively influence the dynamics between the two. Training, training both the Great Dane and the small breed is essential for successful cohabitation. Establishing common ground rules, such as appropriate play behavior and respect for personal space, will prevent any potential conflicts. Obedience training is of utmost importance. A well-trained Great Dane will respond to commands, ensuring safety when interacting with smaller dogs. Similarly, small breeds should be trained to address their instinctive tendencies for fear-based reactions, such as excessive barking or nipping. Consistency and positive reinforcement are key in training both breeds. Tips for successful cohabitation 1. Supervised playtime When allowing the Great Dane and the smaller breed to interact, ensure it is under supervision. This ensures the safety of both the dogs and allows you to step in if necessary. 2. Size appropriate toys Invest in toys suitable for both breeds. Smaller toys may pose a choking hazard for Great Danes, while larger toys might be too big for tiny breeds. Providing a variety of toys will encourage playtime without compromising safety. 3. Separate feeding areas Due to their size difference, it is recommended to create separate feeding areas. Great Danes might unintentionally intimidate the smaller breed, leading to food aggression. By providing separate spaces for mealtimes, you can prevent any unnecessary tension. For adjusting the height difference, while Great Danes can reach impressive heights, tiny breeds often prefer lower spaces. Providing steps or ramps to access beds or couches will make your smaller breed feel more comfortable and included. Conclusion Introducing a Great Dane to a tiny breed may seem like an unlikely combination, but with proper socialization, training, and consideration for their unique needs, these dogs can live harmoniously together. Mutual respect, understanding, and proper supervision are essential for fostering a positive and safe environment. The bond that can form between these two disparate breeds can be a testament to the beauty of diversity in the dog world.